It's really important for us as the leader to be able to take that big picture vision at the end and turn that into action and direction for our team to follow. That's Jason LeDuc, back with you here, helping you become the kind of boss you always wish you had when you were starting out. Today, we're going to continue our discussion of leadership styles, and we're going to do that with the visionary leadership style. And as always, remembering that we don't ever want to just pick one leadership style and stick with it for our entire career, our entire leadership experience. We want to use these as tools and techniques to make sure that we're using the most effective style to match the situation and the needs of our team. So what is visionary leadership? Visionary leadership is exactly what it sounds like. It's when we have a leader or we are a leader who has a really bold and exciting vision of the future. We wanna make important changes. We wanna bring about some really important good in the world. Visionary leadership is a great technique to have in our quiver when we, when we need to be able to make an important change or we want to, we want to, uh, yeah, just like it says, when we want to make an important change, we want to we want to change the status quo and bring about a future that's better than the future than anyone is envisioning right now. This is your Steve Jobs. This is your Elon Musk. This is a lot of folks in our tech and startup community. They have these really grand visions. And one of the great things about the the visionary leaders and the visionary leadership style is when you have a great vision like this and you're excited about it, you have that passion. You can help instill that passion in your team and other people and to be able to get them to enroll in their vision, come along with you on your vision and join you on this journey to go do something truly incredible. So that's what's great about the visionary leadership style, but there are a couple of things to keep in mind because this sounds like something that we would all love to be able to do, right? We'd love to be able to come up with a grandiose idea, some way we're going to change the world and tell people about it. And they're going to go, got it. I'm going to run off and do it. I'm with you, boss. And a lot of times they say, I'm with you, boss. They buy into that vision, which is great. But also as a leader, we can't forget that our job is to set our team up for success. So just because we have this grand vision doesn't mean our team necessarily knows what they need to do in order to make this come about. So it's really important if we are trying to bring about a big vision, we're trying to adopt this visionary leadership style, and we're trying to do some really important good in the world, make big change in the world. It's really important for us as the leader to be able to take that big picture vision at the end and turn that into action and direction for our team to follow. That's a lot of times where visionary leaders fall down is they have this big vision, but they don't know how to turn it into something. They don't know how to tell their team, okay, go do these actions. My first experience with this was as a brand new captain in the Air Force when I first uh, left California and went back to Boston. And I had a, I had a boss who was a very visionary leader, continued to be for, for many, many years, still is really. And what he was talking about, this vision that he had for something, uh, something that we were doing in the Air Force. He had this really big vision for how we could do it better, uh, not just in the future, but start doing it better today. And it was not, today we wouldn't think it was technologically advanced, but back in the early 2000s, this was a big deal what he was trying to do. And every, and so the challenge, there were two challenges with this. One, he was really good at telling us what we needed to do to make his vision happen. We were all bought into it. And he was really good at saying, Jason, you go do this. And you, you go do this. And you go do this. And he had all, he would call them pieces and parts. And he had all the pieces and parts in his head of what needed to happen. So that first challenge we talked about, he had that covered. He, he knew how to tra translate strategy into action to help, for us to help him achieve his vision. The second part was a little harder because if you've ever been involved in government programs, military programs, uh, acquisition of, of anything really in the corporate world, there's a lot of inertia. There's a lot of factions. There's a lot of tribes. There's a lot of people who get threatened by when a big vision comes along. But our boss, not only was he good at telling us what we needed to do and turning that into actions for us to take to meet his vision, he was also really good at building coalitions. And that's the second piece of advice for if you have a big vision, you're trying to adopt this visionary leadership style, is you've got to learn how to build coalitions 
and to build allies to help you in your quest to achieve your vision. Because if you don't do that, you're going to run up against resistance from others and that resistance is going to drag you down. So it's really important to build coalitions, find people who can help you out, allies who can help you out, third parties who aren't necessarily part of the decision-making process, who buy into what you're doing and say they support it. And you can also use those allies to help bring people along who might be resistant because it might mean a budget cut for them, or it might mean you're taking work away from them or taking resources away from them, which are all things that happen when these visionary ideas come along. So now, now you know if you've got a big vision as a leader, and you want to go do some really important change in the world, now you know a couple more tips to help you get that vision moving, get your team moving in the right direction, and to build those coalitions and build those allies to help you achieve that big vision that you're going after. Okay, hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, and share. Send it on to someone who can use it if you know they could use some advice in this area. If you have any experiences with visionary leaders or visionary leadership, both good or bad, tell us in the comments. We'd love to hear your stories. We'd love to respond to you and keep the conversation going. If you have any questions for me, slide into my DMs. I don't mind. I hope this was helpful for you in developing your leader's mindset onward and upward.